Hello everyone, this is Jer, playing Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode, I have went over to Glebo and collected some enriched uranium from these uh, beta hives, as well as some uranium ore. Those dupes have now left this world, the traveling, inside this rocket that I have over here. So the two dupes just kind of chilling out in this little fancy rocket with all the goods on board. There's some enriched uranium. I see some algae that they can uh, use for oxygen and they've got, oh, their food has gone bad. Okay, hold on. I'm worried that right now I've got a vacuum area in here and that food might eventually release polluted oxygen. As well as the fact that they may starve, but they're gonna be there in less than a cycle. So it's good we went in and checked in on these guys. We can get rid of our carbon dioxide thing. They can live without that for a little bit of time. So let's get a storage bin built. I'm gonna click on this and hit say sweep. We're gonna put that into this bin once it's created. Yeah, you guys are hungry, I'm sorry. I don't know why that went bad, that should have stayed. It was in frozen state, I thought. It may not have been the case, okay. Let's say anything that I sweep goes in here. So they should be picking this up, removing it from there. So at least we're not gonna get uh, polluted oxygen in that spot. Fortunately, they're not gonna have food, but they don't have a long way to go. So we're gonna have to be careful the next time I put food inside a rocket to absolutely make sure it is solidly frozen. Let's go in Twigato. This asteroid over here. So with enriched uranium, I can now start on plans for a research reactor. I can skip the whole centrifuge. So uranium centrifuge is not gonna be needed because I already have ex ex um, enriched uranium. I want some of these to be given out. Let's, I still haven't given all my dupes snazzy suits. But we're going to improve the base a little bit in terms of decoration and decide what to do. Let's start with common area. Simply building metal tiles. I've got lots of metal around. I can make 92 metal tiles. So we'll just put it around some of the common areas just to get started. So we're going to have a very fancy ladder area. Where the dupes go up and down. Let's look at the general decoration. It's going to be quite dismal. We're going to be changing that. Very nice if the dupes want to hang out with the pips, though. Let's check to see if any more pips need to be wrangled. Doesn't look like it. So, so. First gold tile is being installed. What does that do to the decoration? L little improvement in this area. First area I'm gonna hit is the Great Hall. there is the option to let, let's see where we are with research what other decoration items can I do because we're currently working on the rad bolt propulsion but maybe I want to divert research into decorations for the uh, short term the other thing is I don't have a nature reserve on this side of the base It'd be nice if we had a second one i've got one down here so anytime the dupes go to the great hall they're needing to uh, go through the nature reserve upping their morale because they like to walk through that a little bit of algae so let's design that bit should be pretty easy we're just gonna have a door right here i see one two three four plants in this area so that is not going to be very difficult at all I don't have a need for crafting station at the moment, so let's get rid of that. We don't need this either. Or this. Might as well take back the automation wire there. I'm 
can just make sure this gets divided by room. So one, two, three, four plants. If we put a door here, that's going to be sufficient for a nature reserve. Just going to mean that every time the dupes go to the washroom, and they go to there for showers as well as the toilets. So they're going to go to the showers in the morning. They're going to go generally to the toilets before uh, just the beginning of their break most of the time. I don't know if this is going to get in the way of this being a nature resort. I don't think so. But we need a park sign, of course. Put that right in the center. We should see this become a nature reserve, just making sure that the dupes have access or get to see a nature reserve anytime they go in and out of this. I'm going to expand this to include this room, which isn't used for much other than dumping polluted water, but that may have another purpose in the future. Let's go check the decoration level down here. Much higher, so their dupes are able to eat in much more decorative area. I'd like to have some other amenities eventually. Probably going to start with the simple ones, the uh, jukebox in an arcade. Maybe we'll put it in this room. The only issue is that's going to enhance the amount of power. So I'm thinking I want to put my research reactor in drive a lot of power from that first so we're going to enhance the power situation before we get to that but we could easily put in bedrooms now because we've got lots of plastic so let's dig out a spot for some bedrooms to decide where they want we need to go put those Gonna get rid of these outhouses that were on standby. Hopefully I'm not gonna need them, but let's check the water situation. We're kind of looking pretty good. So I might put some bedrooms here. Do I put some bedrooms next to the transit access? I don't think that's gonna hurt. I'll just have to have the door on the other side. If I want to do that. We'll maybe put bedrooms over here. We have to look at temperature too. I don't want to dig into something that's... I was going to say too hot, but actually more likely too cold. So we're going to need a lot more space. To put in these bedrooms in this case. Let's dig this out. Gold tile, let's, uh, let's put this in around the showers. Just enhance the decoration around here as well. And in the washroom too. And I will order more gold to be produced. Oh, right, we put in the gas range. Let's check, I think we have all the sleet wheat seeds we need. Yes, we do, all 20 are in. And we'll check on the pepper bread, or a pinch of pellants, they're good. So now I can tell Cook, generate pepper bread forever, as much as he can. Make sure we get some natural gas going. Oh, pipe is disconnected. We need to connect that. All right, so natural gas is heading towards the gas range. I realize that this doesn't have power. So Cook can actually see when they're cooking. They're making quick work of this gold installations. Let's look at the decoration level here around the washroom. Much better, much more green. So there's more opportunity for them to uh, see a much nicer base so while they're doing all of this I'm gonna order 99 pieces of gold 
we want to put gold all around the base. It's going to warm up this area down here, but it's 12 degrees, so that's not really going to be too much of an issue. In fact, that's kind of desired. So I'm thinking of keeping this right there. Or maybe I'll even drop it a level to make uh, the transit tube right here. Just more central to the overall base. Either way, let's start with the bedroom. I have to remember the size of this because this changed a little bit. So now we've got barracks, luxury barracks, and a private bedroom. Pa private bedroom is needs to be 24 tiles. So that's this size. It's so right where this fern is, is where I need to put a door if I want to have that happy. Of course, this is not going to be a very attractive room necessarily, but I might be able to comp compensate by the fact that there's a transit tube right up front. We're just going to put in gold like this. Put in an airflow tile here and here. Just preemptively put gold up here. And that pip is getting in the way and planting stuff we don't need. So let's put in a comfy bed. Put it right here. What else do we need? I think we need a, a special item. Let's have a look. Private bedroom has back wall tiles and a decor. I two decor items. Nope, sense in putting on in light in here because well, dupes generally don't like to have light when they're sleeping. Except for special dupes, or special traits, but let's not get into that. So let's just check if the other dupes have arrived. They have. That's the ones that have been struggling here with food. So that means enriched uranium is here. But before we work on that, let's enhance the lives of the dupes because they've been working really hard. So that is that. We're going to put gold here and here. I have to decide the decoration items. I was looking at paintings. Why can't I make... Oh, fiber reed. Am I actually out? These guys are not growing. No, this one's happy. Let's just push this back. We need more of this stuff. That would be very helpful. Hydroponic plants. I'm going to put that here. It's going to need polluted water. It's a little too warm on this side. That's why I'm pushing in a little bit further. Slowly getting a little fiber reed from these guys as well. We still have one more of these, but it's uh, reed fibers, which we are very low on. So let's start producing a lot more of these guys. That being the case, let's just change the decoration item then. Could put in a very fancy metal block. It's going to drain up our metal pretty quickly, so maybe we'll do granite. Each room will have one of these. And how about a hanging uh, pot? Make that out of copper. Put that set up like this. That's going to be design of our room. The other thing is... Oh, I don't have the research for this. Scientists, you've got to get busy. Okay, so now the research for that is complete. Where is the back wall? I have a feeling like that might be a solid thing. 
Or a deck? No, that's going to be a decoration thing, right? Could do a glass hanging pot. Hold on. Is it called drywall? We've got it. Okay, I'm looking in the wrong place then. I assumed it was a utility. Is it... Uh... Oh, drywall. It's over here. And I have different choices. That's exciting. I'm going to make it out of granite. Um, An algae wedge. A bright wedge. Yellow. Rainy. Let's do algae for this room. Maybe each room will have its own theme. Not sure what I think about this one, but there it is. So one dupe is actually going to have a private bedroom. We've got 12 dupes, so I'll repeat this process a bunch of times. Oh, Pep, can you stop? <laughs> Continue adding gold all around here. And we'll make a second bedroom or start the process for that. I see artist hard at work trying to make a nice sculpture. I'm going to put an airflow tile just in case there's some hydrogen in the area. This is an interesting sculpture. I can actually repaint it. I'm not uh, not going to need to do that, but let me just copy that and put it there. Make sure we get something planted right here. A brier seed. That'll work. Let's have a check to see if we're in a private bedroom. Maybe we have to wait for this to be planted. Luxury barracks. Not quite. We're at luxury barracks. I think this just has to... Oh, we have some tiling that isn't done yet. going to put a priority on that so I can see that uh, this actually works. I'm going to do the same thing everywhere else. Here is it. Maybe. Luxury barracks. We're missing something. Hold on. Slow down then. What are we missing? Private bedroom. Single comfy bed. We've got that. No cots. There is no cots in here. Minimum size, 24. It's... Ah, nuts. I miscalculate it. That means everything else. That's okay. I'm glad I checked this out. So we have to push everything over. So the bed's going to be in the center. Could just have two of these on either side. Okay, don't bother. Cancel just well. I guess you're gonna be trying to carve out while somebody else destroys this on you. The other options I could make taller rooms. But let's not go with that option. Of course, this means I need more drywalling. Take that door out. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter, but... Or was that... Uh, oh, that was the right one. It just didn't look quite right. Just because I guess it's not colored until it's built. I'm hoping this is going to make it better. I'm going to wait till to confirm whether this actually works or not. Actually, just keep the hanging pot there. Hey, private bedroom. Look at that. Okay. So, this is going to take up more space overall, but let's go ahead and repeat this process again and again. And I might... Uh, we'll do another one. And I might design several more. And then show you what I get. So we're going to keep doing a large sculpture at the entrance of every room. 
And I'm gonna build some uh, some of these rooms up here. Let's see, where do I need to go? I'm gonna build up above, which means I want to get rid of the heavy watt wires. Don't want to have that go through the bedroom area. So if I put a rear seat here and make the different rooms have their own look and feel. Where did I find that drywall? This is the main one. Okay. This one, how about this will be the rainy room? Look at that. There's no need for these doors to be closed, so we'll open them up. And how are we doing for gold production? 48. We should have a lot of gold amalgam that was brought in from the other world. So we'll continue the process of adding gold to our tiles here. Doing this side by side so we'll never get a, a hole that's too big for the dupes to cross. So that is... Uh, Work on the second bedroom. And as I mentioned, I have to decide, okay, now that I know how big these are, and I know I need to get 12, I can kind of figure out where all this needs to uh, go, or how many other floors. I guess it depends on how far back I want to send these rooms, because I could put three, four, five, six, seven, Maybe six and six. Let's do that. Let's do six down this way and six down that way. What I might do is ultimately I'm going to drop this and I'm going to save room for a future nature reserve in front of all these that the dupes can go across every time they go in and out of the bedroom. That's going to be down the line, just making sure I save a little bit of room. Pokeshaw, I don't think I've had any of those before in this playthrough. So get the dupes to focus on this. Once one is, the second one is created, maybe I'll wait to uh, give the dupes some time to get caught up on tasks that they're going to dig all this out. So that's heavy watt wire, actually. Let, let's uh, while the dupes are doing that, let's let's do that. Let's concentrate on the heavy watt wire, because that has to go in and around here. Let's poke that through here. Connect it from this point over to here. Of course, we're gonna want to have heavy watt wire for this, but we can we can make that happen. If we're going to take the bedrooms out, which we're, which is the plan, is what we're doing. I may not have enough gold to do this everywhere, so I'm just going to use granite tiles for now. And we'll upgrade uh, to gold once the metal refinery. Gold amalgam. Are we actually out of gold amalgam? I thought we brought a lot back with us. Okay, I'm surprised. Whoa! It's not sitting right there, is it? That'd be kind of funny. I don't think that was the rocket that had it. I think I destroyed the rocket, which means it should be down there. But maybe it is. Okay, well, there. I might be on a mission to get more gold amalgam. There's no shortage in this world, but that's... Uh... Okay, I'm going to stop building with gold then, that being the case. But I'll at least upgrade everything else to be a tile. And we're going to measure out where the bedrooms are going to go. Because I'm going to take the heavy watt wire left and under the bedrooms. And up and over. Just so it's hidden. So the dupes don't have to look at it. When they're sleeping. So that is the fourth bedroom. One, two, three, four.
So 24 tiles, 24 tiles, oops. 24 tiles, and one more. I'm going to do six and six. Still going to have a door here so that they can get out on this side if they need something over here. And I'm going to give them a little bit of gold in each room, just for decoration purposes. Going to carve out an area down here for the heavy watt wire to go around and an area up here. Again, for the heavy watt wires to go around. Now, how far away does the heavy watt wires affect decoration? Two, three, four, quite a bit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to be at least seven away from the room. Of course, they're sleeping over here, so I, I don't have to be that far. Let's put it right there. So that heavy watt wire is going to be going like this. And snaking around all the way up here. Just so we avoid the future bedrooms. Let's check on some other things while the dupes are building that. We have this park over here, or nature reserve, I'm hoping, yep. So that is, every time the dupes use the washroom, they're going through that, that's nice. And we still have high decorations down here. Oh, I forgot. Dupes uh, have the, probably this ready for me, let's plant some of those because we need more uh, fiber reed we'll check on our food production still down here sleet wheat looks happy pinch of pepper ant that looks happy let's remove plastic and eggs and let's put the input to our food source because that's an important thing to always be watching. That's uh, phosphorite. We've got eight tons of that. That's the uh, pepper plants and dirt. Sleet wheat needs that. Lots of dirt. So not necessarily needing to watch the dirt, but the phosphorite. We do have a production source for that, actually. These guys here are consuming mealwood and outputting phosphorite. And there may be some more we can uh, dig out in various places, but with eight tons, I'm not going to be too concerned at the moment. Okay, let's go back to the bedrooms and see what progress has been made, if any. Dupes are in here and busy. Excellent. Now, I'm going to keep this heavy watt wire intact while all this is being constructed. Because I don't want to cut that until this other line is built. Let's double check I have the number of rooms right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's looking good. Another bed over here. So the dupes have lots of tasks to get caught up on, so maybe I'll just leave them alone for a bit. Let them, and I'll be back and we'll continue the uh, this construction. Actually, just before I do that, I think it might be very important if I put... I was going to put a ladder here, actually, ultimately. Might as well put tiles. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Oops. Just before I leave, I actually decided these dupes don't have a lot to do over here, so I'm going to get uh, cleaner to go back to the other world and help with some of this construction. Actually, maybe we need to, since I can't send you back... I do have a little bit of tasking to assign. I can just get you to dig out various things. Do we have this running? No, this has been off for a while. We don't really need it, but it'll be good to produce a little bit crude oil, if nothing else. 
is be done over there. So I now have a new heavy wire circuit that goes all around the bedroom. So with that, I can destruct this old line from here, here, and here. And it's gonna open up the opportunity now to easily slide in a second level of uh, bedrooms, private bedrooms, so that my dupes don't have to sleep in heavy wire area. Some pips have been over here. I'm just put in gold tiles where we're missing a few tiles. Every room can get at least one. Okay, so these la this ladder here is not needed anymore. Get rid of that. We're gonna put a gold metal tile. Or no, we'll just use a regular tile up here. And pretty much the identical layout. So that's one room. Two, three, four, five, and our sixth room. Make a separator. Gonna do a ceiling. I don't want hydrogen to build up in these rooms, so I'm gonna put an airflow tile here. We can put melon there as well. And each of these rooms are of course going to need a comfy bed. We've got lots of plastic, so we should be able to create all of these. So this should be 12 beds, one for each of the dupes. Just thinking to myself now, I know how the dupes get. They sometimes sleep in these. I can see that's dark so that no one's taking that bed. And Miner, you are no longer signed there. Now that we're going to have private bedrooms soon, it would be kind of a shame if you went and slept there, away from everyone else. I'd like to, I'm not going to, with the amount of fiber reed that I have, uh, install carpeted tiles on these beds, but... Uh, let's see, farm play, irrigation. Oh, I don't have... Uh, that going all the way. I'll dig out more spots to grow these. Because I could use the fiber reed. Speaking of which, a little bit has been created over here. Curious where he's going with that. Probably have a storage bin. All right, there. This is probably where most of the fiber reed that I've had has been used up in creating these. Let's see who else needs these. Doctor, engineer, farmer, and pilot. Is anyone else missing up? Okay, so that explains where the fiber reed was going. That's, that's a good use for it. I'm not, uh, not disappointed it's being used for I forgot I had created those. Excellent fruit. Bring that on the, into the base. Oh, the dupes can't actually get up here. Just realize that. We need a ladder right there. And put a manual door here just to hide the heavy watt. Wa Whoa! Um, it's not really needed anymore, is it? Because I've got heavy watt wire going here. Oh, but I do need to visit this guy. Okay, we're, we're going to change that later. I'm going to bring a heavy watt wire. Well, I guess it's already going along here. Yeah, let's do this. 
Oops. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to create a door here. Eventually this barracks is going to go away in favor of the new private bedrooms. Just going to take a little bit of time to create, along with the tiling. I'm going to tell the dupes to do this first, because I don't want to disrupt the current barracks, because they're getting morale benefit from that. Here's what is the morale benefit from a private bedroom. It's three. I'm assuming it goes one, two, and three. So the barracks, you get one, luxury two, and private bedroom three. A lot of work. There's no power consumption needed. And once you've built this, it uh, just does its thing, I guess. More difficult to move around. So once you decide where you want the private bedrooms to be, you better sort of be certain that's where you want it to stay. Okay, let's get rid of this. This. And this. We're going to locate this here and down here in a second. Okay, right there. Want to try to have minimum disruptions possible. This guy. In fact, I don't think we should have any disruption. So my heavy watt wire is going to feed into this. Can go there. It's going to power that guy, and that's going to go over here. And once this is created, I'll destroy this one, and we'll get rid of that heavy watt wire. So the dupes won't have to go in and out of the bedroom with the heavy watt wire in front of their uh, bedroom area. Yeah, connect it. Alright, I think I'm going to uh, end it there for this particular episode. So we've created the first few private bedrooms. We're going to add more. I had a... Oh... You are at risk of not being consuming brine. I, let's just quickly now lower you. I'll do, I'll do this. Let's finish on this one because this looks like an important task. I think it is time to put in some filtering. Maybe we'll. I think that's going to be the next episode, along with continuing with the, to construct the rest of the private bedrooms. So I've just been sort of trusting that this is these pump is going to just take in brine. But that's not necessarily the case. I'm going to actually move to destroy that. Let's do this at high priority just so that I don't send polluted water to be spilt on the floor over here. Well, thank you for watching. We've got some private bedrooms. Not only that, I now have a nature reserve in front of the washroom and as well a much more attractive great hall to be able to eat at. Thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in a future episode where I'll continue to enhance this base and find out some of the new features of the Wet Blast update. Until then, this is Jeremy.